it doesn't matter how what you do in life, how, how successful or non-successful, where you live, what car, whatever. If you don't have your health, mm-hmm. you, you don't have anything. You got a lot of love. Yeah, that's for sure. You got music and movies and friends and medicine. Yeah, is the show for me and you. The one you love to listen to. Welcome to the Wendy Lovett Show, Season 6, Episode 1, sponsored by Karis Healthcare and the relevant app. We don't dispense medical advice, and all your health choices are your own. And now I'd like to introduce my new co-host, Brandon Lee. What's going on? Hey there. Or should I say Bobby Brady? <laughs> Bobby Brady, I know, because of the new intro. I was, I was so stoked to do that. I was just telling you um i'm it was so awesome to like do something like that and i thought it was gonna be super cheesy but it, it worked out well <laughs> yes We're, we need to be paid like an actor's fee for this stuff it's so don't amazing you think good. We right need, like some sort of award it was, <laughs> it's funny I'll, that I'll you that say that IMDb. it's funny that you say that too like is it gonna be cheesy there's always like that question in my mind like i i have this idea of a spoof but it could really get cheesy right Hey, you never know unless you do it. So you got to right. just do it. A lot of people think like, oh, no, you got to, you can't just, you just got to do it. Yes. And, uh, and it turned out well. Luckily, we have really creative people that yes. help us out too. <laughs> for sure, for sure. I think the directions, like you ask a bunch of stoners to like follow every direction and they're like, no, I'm going to do my right, Give me one direction. <laughs> I give me one at a time. And when I do it, then yes. let's go to the next one. That's Absolutely, what it, right. So many words on a page. <laughs> yes, insane. Yes. So I am so excited that you're here and you're my co-host for season six. Um, you know, I, I we've met in the community and, uh, yeah. you know, kind of like knew each other a little bit. And, uh, and I was like, you know, when you co-hosted for one show last season, I was like, this is my guy. <laughs> <laughs> This well, is, it's this so would work out great. I, you you always bring interesting guests, and I have never done this platform before, so uh-huh. it's something exciting for me to do. And I couldn't think of a better person that you know. You already have a lot of knowledge, and you're just laid back and cool. So I don't feel uh-huh. like it's too much pressure or anything like that. So I'm ready to have fun, and I've already seen some of the guests that we have lined up for the season, and it's it's awesome. I'm really excited about it. Oh, wonderful. Me too. This show, we have Tom McManus and just an NFL football player. That's all. <laughs> that's all. You know? And, uh, you know, he gave some great tips you all are going to see later. Um, but I wanted to ask you about your exercise routine, um, you, you know, because um, I've kind of when I started my health journey and recovery after being really sick in 2000. 13 Which, was by when the I way, really... you look great. Oh, like, thank can we, you. Can we say that? Like, you are looking fantastic right now. So that's Thank good. you. You know, it's been a journey for sure. And uh, and when I first started, and uh, you couldn't get me to eat something that I shouldn't or not exercise. Right. Strict by so the book. strict. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For years, you know, actually. But this the pandemic and being home so much and just the routine disruption... <laughs> Like, it man, happens, it's yeah. been hard. So how have you been doing with exercise and what do you do? So, yeah, so routine is the biggest part and you know that. But, you know, like, I'm going to say the same thing. I don't go to the fast food as much. I'm on week 10 of my uh, diet and exercise routine where I've just been like, all right, 
you got to hammer down, you know, like I got to, I got to do something. Mm -hmm. And right. I was kind of like you with the pandemic and all of this stuff. It just like, you want comfort, you know, like mm -hmm. you want to go back to your comfort stuff. And and a lot of that is sitting on the couch with a blanket or with some <laughs> Oreos. I love Oreos a lot. <laughs> right. uh, the and couch and a blanket a with a yeah. bag of carrots is not the same as the couch and a blanket and not a bag of Oreos. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. So, and, you know, I kind of put this on my Facebook the other day that um, we kind of have two people inside of us, you know, we have that mm -hmm. person that really wants to be healthy. And like you said, by the book and, uh, and the diet routine and all that stuff. But then you have that one person that just wants to be comfortable and, mm -hmm. and really just wants to uh, just, just be lazy. Right. And there's, they're always fighting and they can never be together, you know, so you got to choose one or the other. And, when you start getting on that athletic or just a routine of doing something every day, I always say that, like, give me like a 15 minute workout if I need to, but it's something, right. uh, uh, it makes me feel so much better. And, but there's still that person that's like, get off the couch or stay <laughs> on the couch, you know, like yeah. there's always that voice or eat another Oreo. <laughs> right. you know? there's, so mm -hmm. It's like a duality. Yeah. I it's agree. Yeah, there's like a duality. I call it the chameleon self, the shadow self that, you know, pulls you in the in the direction of the negative and and uh, no, you don't need to move your body, you know. <laughs> right. Well, I did that yesterday. You yes. know, like I always say, like, oh man, I can do ten push-ups. Of course, maybe you can do ten push-ups, but can you? But do you? And so, right. like, I found myself like getting weaker with that. And so now I'm really my workout routine. Uh, I do a little bit of yoga and I've never done yoga my entire life, mm. uh, but I've noticed that it really does help me not with just with, um, with, uh, body toning and all that stuff, but with stress, um, with nice. stretching, like, you mm -hmm. know, like you wake up in the morning, you feel horrible. Um, that's a lot of times where you're just compacted and you're just stressed and you're not really just stretching your spine. So mm -hmm. I found that it's, it's really helped me a lot to, uh, to even do the yoga. So I've been doing that and I play a lot of basketball. I know oh, I'm short, cool. but I play basketball twice a week, every week, like the last uh -huh. decade. So uh -huh. um, that's great. And you, you probably don't even necessarily think of it as exercise. You know, it's, it's just no, it's, fun. It, is you know? it isn't, you know, yeah. it's like, I want to win, you know, like I played today and I didn't win very much. Uh, but I, at least I know I got the workout in. And yeah. I like to say, you know, don't make the weight loss the goal. Like that's sort of like a byproduct, but feeling better. Like, how are you feeling? Yeah, exactly. You know? And, you know, I've done this before where I worked out really hard and I, I didn't have the same, I had great results, but I didn't have the same feeling, you know, like mm. I feel better. Um, and then I've, I've noticed that even like, I don't have, I don't drink that much right now through all these diets and stuff, but I have noticed that if you're working out and you're getting that stuff, your hangovers aren't as bad. Oh, so, you know, you find your why of, you know, I think it's always find your why, you know, why do you want to lose weight? Why do you want to feel, you know, do you want to feel better? Is that what's happening? You know, so right. um, finding that why is a big part of it too, but I think you know. so. And, you know, for me with all the inflammation, autoimmune disease stuff, um, when I use cannabis um, and other plant medicine, it helps me to be able to move my body more so that I can see better results and feel better. And, and there's sometimes when I'm not feeling so good, but I try to yes. incorporate, if I'm lying in bed, I'm going to do some leg lifts and arm lifts and uh, keep my body going and sit on the edge of the bed and do some breathing. You know, yoga is so great. You probably feel better because it's that mind body connection. Yeah. I, and there's so many options around here with the uh, yoga, you know, we have so mm -hmm. many instructors and so many, uh, so many, so much access here in Northwest Arkansas where it's, so uh, we're pretty, we're pretty lucky to have all the access. I think so. And wherever people are, you know, just uh, Google it in, in your area, or there's also yoga online. There's different uh, yes. things that you can sign up for online. I, I use a YouTube. That's what nice. I use. Like, nice. uh, and, and I've been doing a little bit of calisthenics with that stuff and some lifting, Holding, getting someone to hold you accountable. That's a big thing. Like you have a workout buddy that's like, Hey, I got to be here on Tuesday at five o'clock, you know, very strict, you know, you're going to be there because you have to do it. You know, that's right. a big, uh, having a workout buddy helps a lot too. I've noticed I think that. so. I, I, and bro, I, I worked out with him a little bit. So. Nice. And I think that through this show, we can hold each other accountable and yes. 
our community, uh, you know, why not? Here we are talking right. about remedies so, for health every week. Yes, 10 push-ups right now. I want <laughs> there you go. 10 push -ups. <laughs> yes, before the next segment. <laughs> right, we just need 10, 10 out. Yes. Well, coming up next, we're gonna get some great exercise tips from Tom McManus. Joining me now is former NFL middle linebacker for the Jaguars and partner in Maryland CBD, Tom McManus. Welcome to the show. Hey, Wendy, how are you? It's great to be on your show finally. I know. I'm so excited. It's great me to too. see you. Usually we're, we're chatting. It's all audio on the relevant app, you know? Yes, so no doubt. So this episode is about exercise. And awesome. um, I, I wondered uh, for you how things have changed kind of through the years. You know, when you were a football, a professional football player, I'm sure you had a certain routine. Oh, yeah. Um, I wondered what that was like and what it's like now. I'll tell you one thing that's still the same. Mm -hmm. I have this... I don't know if it, it's a little voice or what it is, but it pushes me all the mm. time when I'm working out. So when I'm running, like, yeah, it's, it's there. I'm listening nice. to my music. I'm fired up. I'm ready to go. And I push myself sometimes too much because the thing that has changed is mm -hmm. I'm a lot more sore, you know, at oh, 51 right. than I was at 25, 28, 30, you know, and all the way through. So, sure. right. uh, but yeah, no, it's, uh, it's 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 a great thing and it's my whole family I have three daughters my wife my wife is always in a fitness she has a fitness boutique actually called board 30 very nice. proud of her she's an entrepreneur and, uh -huh. and doing fantastic and uh all my you know my, all my girls have been in dance their whole life so you have to be you know athletic and in shape to do that absolutely so just, you know, we mm -hmm. don't push it well you know whatever you want to be whoever you want but they see how we do it and right you know but i wanted to yeah. tell you i read this um, study. So Peter Kristrup is his name. He's a professor of sports, health, and science at the University of Southern Denmark, actually. Oh, and wow. he's been cool. studying football players, people yeah. who play football through their life, um, and, and general sports, too. But he specifically talks about football. And he says that when he looks at men like 65 to 80, their heart is in much better shape, like that of a younger person. Their yeah, bone density is better. Their muscle uh, integrity is better. Like yeah. a 30-year-old, he said. Wow. <laughs> what do you think about that? Yeah, I, I mean, look, I, I don't know if it's just football, but I could see that because mm -hmm. the one thing, a lot, you know, it's funny, a lot of guys, when they're done playing, they'll go totally the opposite way. You know, they'll just oh, let it go. Right. Like, I'm done working out. I'm sick mm -hmm. of working out. I worked out my whole life. Sometimes they come back and they realize, man, I got to, work out you know to, to to stay healthy at least and then sure. there's guys like me who just kept going and kept going and kept mm -hmm. going you know so yeah I could see that like I said like when I go for runs you know I, I try to push it I try to get that heart rate up I actually do uh and I know you're talking about your wellness plan uh mm -hmm. someone asked me the other day um actually my next door neighbor's son uh I was talking about running and he's mm -hmm. like oh man I hate running I said guess what I used to hate running too but guess, this is how I I got over it Instead of just going out for a jog, mm -hmm. you run for 45 or you run for a minute, you walk for 30 seconds, oh, you right. run for a minute, you walk for 30 and you just do set after set to, until you get comfortable. Then you can shorten it. So I'll do like 45s and 20 and that 45, I'm booking it. Like I'm sure. maybe not in the beginning. I'm not like, you know, sprinting, but right. I'm building my way through. So I'm like really pushing myself. So the heart rate goes up, uh -huh. then it comes down. Right. And it goes back up and then and that's a great way to uh to a get into some kind of cardio and even more importantly that's a great way to burn fat right it's scientifically mm -hmm. proven to get that heart rate jacked up bring it down and then mm -hmm. keep doing it you know as much as you can so yeah that's yeah, good I advice can see that. i can mm -hmm. see that yeah can you can you say would you say that that's a good way for somebody to kind of get started like let's say they have let things go a little bit or maybe they never yep. exercised you know would that be yep. how to get kind of get started? I would say this, whatever you like listening to music, podcast, a book, whatever, go get a, go get your headphones, put them in your ears, take time for yourself and just go for a walk. You don't even have to time it. Now, if you're, if you're pressed for time, I got 45 minutes at lunch, 
fine. Then you have to time your walk and that's okay. Sometimes when I go out for a run, I have to time it. I'm like, all right, I got to go 20 minutes and back. I got to be back here. I got to do a podcast. I got to do whatever else. I got a call. I got a meeting, whatever. So I, I, you know, I do have to time it. So yeah, just go out for walks, you know, it's such, and I know it's hard because look, I live in Florida. So it's different than if you live up North and it's cold Mm -hmm. and whatnot. I get that, but find a treadmill, you know, find something, find a, a stationary bike. You know, I go to Planet Fitness. It's like 10 bucks a month. It's like, right. and they have this whole no judgment thing. And it's true. They don't let a bunch of meatheads in there. There's not a bunch of guys grunting and, you know, mm-hmm. flexing in front of the mirror, which by the way, I used to enjoy those gyms because I didn't flex in front of the mirror, but it was intense, <laughs> heavy, right. heavy weightlifting. You know what I mean? Sure. But, right. You know, there are places like that that you could go to. I, I would just say this, look, um, one thing that y- you you have to take it. It doesn't matter how, what you do in life, how, how successful or non-successful, where you live, what car, whatever. If you don't have your health, mm-hmm. you, you don't have anything because they can turn on you on a dime. Mm-hmm. You know, whether that's diabetes or whether that's a stroke or whether that's heart disease or whatever. It's, it's not, and, and don't worry. I tell people, all the, it doesn't matter what you look like. Like I don't weigh myself. Right. I barely, like, well, I'm in a doctor's office. I'm curious. Yeah. I'll jump on a scale. You know, are they sure. whatever, but I, don't, don't, don't compare. We're not supposed to envy anyway, right? We're not supposed to covet. Be right. yourself, be happy with yourself. And it's not about how you look. It's mm-hmm. about how you feel. And I will tell you this. I get the best ideas when I'm working out. And that means a conversation I'm going to have later, mm-hmm. a project I'm working on, an idea I come up with. You know why? Because my endorphins are cranking. I'm not right. sitting there thinking about, oh, I got to pay this bill or, oh, I got to do this or I no, I'm thinking about, oh, wow, man, this is great. I feel great. You know, I'm, 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 I'm starting to get, you know, get into it. I'm starting mm-hmm. to get a little sweat, you know, and the endorphins kick in and yes. your best thoughts come. I'm telling you, I've been doing it for years and I'm a very creative guy. Uh, my best thoughts have come during workouts Excellent. without question. Yeah, that all such great great advice and ideas for people to kind of drive them forward is, uh, you know, it's a new year and um, we we want uh, frequently is when people start to look at their life a little bit and maybe uh, they're thinking about the weight loss. But like you said, the weight loss might be a byproduct, but really how you feel. Well, and how what's working inside. You got to keep that heart pumping, baby. You know what I mean? You don't you never know when. That's why you got to keep moving because you never know. All it takes is a tiny bit of plaque to get in that air, mm-hmm. you know, into the wave of, of the vein and boom, right. Next thing you know, you're on your back and who knows if you're going to make it. I don't mean to be, sound so blunt, but that's mm-hmm. one of the things that can happen. Right. So you just think about, I got to keep moving once a day. Right. I got to move. You know, I just, whatever right. that is, you know what? Dance in your family room. Who yes. cares? I pick up furniture sometimes. Not heavy furniture, but if I got to get a quick shoulder workout, I'll grab a couple chairs. Right. You know, if I, you know whatever. I can do push ups from anywhere. You, you can be creative, a, right? You can be very creative. You yes. don't have to go to a gym. There's so many yourself. ways to approach so it. And yeah, There's yeah, I, lo- I love way. that. There's never one way in anything in life. I don't believe in any of that anyway. But right. I believe that there, there are plenty of ways to, to uh, get exercise. I'll tell you one thing I do um, I shadow box. I don't want to fight anybody. I don't want to be a boxer, but I love the workout and it's very challenging. So my father did box when he was younger. So mm-hmm. I learned how to just throw punches and move around and do all this stuff. And people might think I'm crazy. I don't really care. I'll be out in my carport here. I'll turn on my, you know, put in my things. I'll do rounds. I'll do a minute on nice. and, I'll, and I'll take 30 seconds off, you know, yeah, or I'll I- go to a gym that has a bag mm-hmm. and I'll just hit that. Whatever, whatever you feel comfortable doing, you should do. Right. Absolutely. My older son has gotten into boxing the last couple of years and nice. uh, he hadn't really found a sport that he really liked, but he loves it. And it's, it, his fitness has improved so much. Oh, so it's, you it's just tremendous. gotta find something you love. I agree with you. Yeah. Let's switch gears a little bit and talk sure. about CBD and cannabis. Mm-hmm. Um, Cause I know you're involved with Marilyn CBD and a, a cannabis proponent, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so how can cannabis kind of assist with exercise? Do you think there's some, any correlation? Have you noticed anything in your life? Oh, without a doubt, with, without a doubt. And, and look, whether it's cannabis, CBD, THC, throw it all into one, right? Mm-hmm. For the most part, 
Uh, I am a partner in a company called Miralon CBD. I did bring a couple of bottles just to show nice. you the packaging. Nice. Um, I'll tell you this. this is, it's medically developed. Uh, mm -hmm. Clinically, I don't know if you see that very well. Clinically, clinically studied. Uh, the doctors from um, uh, the Hospital of Special Surgery up in New York City, VJ Vod, he's a specialist in pain management mm -hmm. and uh, a specialist in um, athletic training. Um, the way I got introduced was through another football player. It, I, 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 he's like, look, all we want you to do is try it. I take, mm -hmm. a, take a little survey before and then take a survey after. And I tried CBD in the past, uh, probably four different products. Three did mm -hmm. nothing. One, there was a uh, hemp nodics down in Tampa. They had some good products. A friend of mine had that. And then I got introduced to Marilyn. So then I was like, okay, well, let me try it. I did the study for four weeks. I had to take extra. There's a lot of damage in this body. There's no question about right. it. So sure. like if someone needs, put it to you this way. I don't ever take Advil anymore, especially since I've been on, on, on CBD. But if I, I have to on occasion, okay, mm -hmm. so I don't want to say I don't ever, but majority 99.5 right. percent i don't but when i do i need four or five mm -hmm. two does nothing i don't i mean it's like a, a mosquito right. bite you right. know, i need four because just to because just all the damage that have been through whether the training the lifting the hitting oh the what, yes the whatnot you Understood. know so yeah so Marilyn uh, uh cbd plays a big role in in uh in the recovery you know, I've, I've had many injuries, right? Surgery in my knee and my foot, they'll, they'll burn at times. They'll ache at times. I put, I put the cream on there and it just takes the edge off. Right. Right. And then you might have to do it again, you know, four hours, whatever later, it's okay. Or you go to bed and you wake up and you, you know, it's like, wow, I didn't even, it didn't hurt during the night. That's nice. Beautiful, you right. Know? And, and it's great yeah. that it enhances your exercise routine because it's helping yep. you with the pain afterwards. You well, and, and even before, to be okay. honest, mm -hmm. it can help you take your mind off, you know, your pain and focus on what you're doing. Um, and it does give you ultra focus. There's no doubt it can give you mm -hmm. create again in the right amount. It can give you creativity. It can, it can take away your pain. It, it doesn't have to knock you on your into your couch and watching right. you know right. movies all day long that's not what i'm talking i never and i'm not i never do that i don't got time for that i got too much going on do you have any final thoughts for people about exercise i would say this um i and i'll tell you i'll, I'll even make it personal so um my story of getting into the nfl uh, i got cut twice okay I, I came out of boston college i wasn't drafted i didn't go to the combine I was a productive uh, college football player. I could play. I was a middle linebacker. I could. I always had good instinct. I just wasn't the fastest guy. I was big enough, pretty strong enough, but just wasn't the fastest guy. So I got cut a couple, couple different times. And in late 94, I decided after my second time getting cut that I was going to hang it up, that it, the, the career's over. I'm going to, I'm going to move to Boston where my, my alumni were, and I was going to get a job and Yes, and I'm from so Boston, I so I, I got to oh, say. It. <laughs> yeah, BC, I love BC. Go Eagles, baby. Yes. I love Boston College, man. I love my time there. They they were they were the best to me. They really were. Nice. I'll, I'll never forget my time at Boston College. All five years, we got redshirted, and then I graduated mm -hmm. four, so save the jokes out there. <laughs> um, but no, uh, just just a, a phenomenal, phenomenal place. Anyway, so I had two months to get in shape for the 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 – the, uh, the workout of my life, which was going to be in front of the new football coach here in Jacksonville, brand new team mm -hmm. in the NFL. My parents were living in New Smyrna Beach. So I wasn't far. And it was Tom Coughlin who coached me at Boston College. So I had to increase my speed. I remember mm -hmm. the first time I got timed in the 40, my dad timed me. And I was like, oh my God, like, how am I I'm never gonna like make right. it you know what i mean it was so slow i was so heavy i was so out of shape you know and, and mm -hmm. you know what i told myself wendy rome wasn't built in a day mm -hmm. and you need to take that out there because it's not so no matter how far back you are where you are in your wellness uh, a part of your life it does not matter wherever you start you start just keep telling yourself every day i'm going to try to keep moving Every day I'm going to do something. I don't care if it's for five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever. I'm going to do something. 
I'm going to keep that blood moving. I'm going to keep that body moving. And then eventually I'm going to start doing walks, which may learn, lean into walk runs, which mm -hmm. may lean into whatever, going to yoga, going to group fitness, whatever, but start slow and then just move your way up as you get comfortable. And I'll tell you this on the diet. I am no expert, but in 2020, I turned 50 in July and on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, I'm sitting around my kitchen table, my wife and my three girls. And they're like, dad, you're going to be, you're going to be 50. And I was, <laughs> I was like 270 pounds. Mm -hmm. I was big. And it was now granted holidays. You know, I let myself, sure. go, you know, right. but I wasn't in, in that good shape going into the holidays. And then I got to, I, I was 270 pounds. I should not be 270. Anyway. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get abs by the time I turn 50, which was six months. And they're like, get out of here. You're not going to do it. I, I, I wish I could share it with you. Anyway, so I, I went on, I did all these uh, videos. I, I videoed every every day. I'd mm -hmm. wake up, you know, before I go on my run. All right. At, it was called abs by 50 pound at, or hashtag abs by 50. It's probably still out there somewhere. Mm -hmm. And I focused on two things, Wendy, my sugar intake and my cardio. Because sugar increases the inflammation in your body. Yes, absolutely. So I, gave my, I gave myself 30 grams a day. It's hard. But put it to you this way. You take a piece of bread. No no white starches. White starches turn to uh, glucose or whatever. Yeah. Turns to fat. You don't want white starches. Stay away from those. Um, count those sugars. Give yourself a little bit. But if you take like a piece of bread, piece of bread, even whole grain, could have four grams of sugar in it. Right. So mm -hmm. instead of a sandwich... I would just have one piece of bread, right. fold it in half. You know what I mean? And then yeah. if I got hungry a little bit later, I'd find some yogurt, uh, yeah. oikos, zero sugar, with a little granola with a mm -hmm. tiny bit of sugar. So if, if you do that and work on moving, I'm telling you, you know, how far back, it doesn't matter. It's going to melt off. And by, by July 30th of 2020, mm -hmm. full on abs, but I'll nice. show you the picture. It was a, it was a massive difference. I went from 270 to 222. Uh, congratulations. That's well, fantastic. Well, you know? I, was a, I was a little thin because I have a really big head. God gave me a big melon to play football. So at <laughs> 223, I was like, I was almost falling over. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But I just looked too thin. So I put on, I'm about 232 and uh -huh. I feel great. But I you met your bad. goal. You had oh, it. You had a goal. In, you had a goal in mind yep. and you yep. planned it out and you, yep. and you accomplished it. So I hope that helps us. I'm no expert, but it worked for me. And I care about people's health because one thing we've learned in this whole thing with the pandemic, the healthier you are, the better chance you have at life in anything. In any it's way, true. absolutely. In any way, whether we're in a pandemic or not, the better health you were in, and you don't have to be no supermodel or bodybuilder right. or anything. You just got to be moving and keeping that blood flowing and keeping that weight off as best you can. Well, excellent advice. Yeah. Tom McManus, thank you so Peace much for joining me. Yeah. It's an honor, Wendy. I really enjoyed our, our, our time and I hope we can do it again. Yes, take care. All thank right. you so much. Peace. This is Mile High News on the Wendy Love Edge Show with your host, Candace Dyer. Today's 420 News is out of the National Law Review, written by Robert J. in January 2022. This is the Cannabis Legislation Year End Review. Although Congress failed to pass federal legislation legalizing cannabis in 2021, the push to end federal prohibition of the ever-growing industry continues to gain steam. While Republican lawmakers have traditionally opposed decriminalization, more are beginning to support or even introduce new cannabis legalization. On top of that, recent polls indicate that an estimated 68% of Americans now support legalization with many consumers now viewing cannabis as less dangerous than alcohol. In addition, the industry's total addressable market has been forecasted to grow to $84 billion by 2026. On a federal level, the Democrats have thus far failed to receive enough bipartisan support to overcome the threat of a filibuster in the Senate. In 2021, neither the Cannabis Administration and Opportunity Act made much progress. Moreover, 
the Safe Banking Act, which would have opened doors for cannabis companies to access commercial banking services. The bill would also allow cannabis to be transported and presumably void Section 280E of the Federal Tax Code which currently bars cannabis businesses from seeking federal tax deductions. The bill would allow cannabis companies to obtain loans and other relief from the Small Business Administration. A new bipartisan bill recently introduced into the House seeks to require the FDA to regulate hemp derivative CBD as a food and beverage ingredient. This bill would bring clarity to the CBD companies by requiring the FDA to finally develop a clear rule on this subject. So as you can see, we still have a whole lot of work to do in the year 2022, but at least we are moving forward. This has been a Mile High News Report on the Wendy Love Edge Show. Candace Dyer signing off. Stay lit, everyone. Candace on a Rocky Mountain high there. <laughs> yes. She's uh, she's always given us some good information, so I'm excited about that. Yes, yes, it's a great new segment on the show, and she whenever she's on, she has great information, and she's free in the weed in Texas, actually. But yeah, oh, <laughs> uh, you can be Rocky Mountain high there too. You so, can, yeah, right. I think you can. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so what have you been watching lately? Have you seen any good movies or? Oh, Winnie. So I went to the movies. I don't go to the movies very often. I was telling you this the last time we talked, and. Uh -huh. uh, I went to the IMAX, the big, big screen here wow. and uh, watched. And <laughs> well, watched I'm saying well, like I haven't been to a movie. I don't even know how long now. So, it's hey, like, you know, if you're worried about a lot of people there, there's not. So, there's you not. know, I think there are like six of us all in the entire wow. theater. But um, I watched The Matrix. Oh, and mm -hmm. it was awful. It was awful. It was oh. OK, but it was two and a half hours long two and a half hours i feel like uh, the movies are getting longer again there was a period where they were too short and now two and a half hours that's like a commitment too long. that's if a you're commitment at home, <laughs> yeah if you're at home and you're like all right well i can pause it and go do whatever you know clean my toilet or whatever you want to do uh, i <laughs> i'm cleaning my oven right now clean your oven. <laughs> whatever you do you have to sit in that theater for two and a half hours. I was squirming in the chair. I was, oh I was dying. If 90 minutes was great, an hour, two hours, it, it started to weigh on me. And I guess sure. I went to the movie at about 10 o'clock at night. And oh my gosh. So I got out the next day. <laughs> I, would have, I may have been asleep if it wasn't good, honestly. And I love The Matrix. The first film, phenomenal, fan. right? Huge fan. So on the yeah. Wendy Levitt show, we rate movies. Uh, would you give it a bud means you loved it? A roach means eh, it's, a, a it's okay. Roach <laughs> it's a stinky roach at the bottom of your bag. <laughs> like, and the, the one that you knew that your friend stepped on, but you're going to like smoke it anyways. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's, that's all you got. Yeah, yeah. That's all you got. <laughs> the only movie that I watched, and probably the only one I watched this year. And that's, you know, like, I know I, I take that back. I really do want to see the Spider-Man too. So I'm, Oh, okay. Uh, that's actually something I've I've heard good news about. So. I have heard good things. Now, did you watch Don't Look Up? Yes, loved it. That is a uh, big, beautiful, fresh bud up. <laughs> there was, you go. That one was good. Yes, that one yes. Was really good. I absolutely loved it. In fact, now I have to watch it again because I learned. So I lived. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts, but I lived in Worcester, Massachusetts for a long time, Worcester. and. Part of the film was filmed in Worcester. <laughs> uh -huh. so, so which gotta, parts? Do you know what parts? I don't or, know, but okay, I have right. to watch it again. Just so, so can, you can see like the background, if you can yes. find any buildings. Yes. The old ice cream shop. I don't know what's in Worcester. <laughs> what's Big in Worcester? Beans? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, WTY is in Worcester. They air a show. So hello, Worcester. There you go. Um, you yes. guys got to tell us, you guys got to tell us what's there, like uh, some yeah. good landmarks or what they've shot. I want to see that in the, yeah. I'll watch that again. I was such an amazing um, it, documentary. I felt, <laughs> yes, right? I felt like it was really a statement of our times. 
and uh, it was star-studded cast. You know, Meryl Streep was, I thought, did a phenomenal job. Everything she does is awesome, but it was, uh, yeah, it was especially awesome, the, the, the role that she had in that one. It was, it's so good. If you have not seen it, watch it. Yes. Uh, it might be eye-rolling at some points because it seems too spot on, mm -hmm. uh, but maybe it kind of gets us to look in the mirror a little bit and hopefully change something. Who knows? Right. Or can we? I don't know. We're an idiocracy. We're, <laughs> we're here, people. We're here. Right. <laughs> right. But I agree with you. It's definitely a full fresh bud. And if you have yes. an opportunity, you want to see it for sure. Uh, well, coming up next, Dr. Brian Nickel will pair a cannabis strain with our musical guest. That's the best doctor ever. I'm Dr. Brian Nickel, your cannabis expert for CannabisExpertMD.com with a music and cannabis pairing for the Wendy Love Edge show. I believe this is uh, Wendy's first show of the 2022 season, is it not, Mr. Producer? I believe so. Uh, she kicks off the 2022 season with Kerfoot and Dow. Ange Kerfoot, she fronts the band with uh, Dana Dow. She backs her vocals with some great instrumentals. Ange grew up in Missouri, uh, listening to music on the jukebox at the family barbecue restaurant. She studied nursing and wrote original music for jazz bands by the age of 21. After more than a dozen projects, she coordinated with Dana to form Kerfoot and Dow. Now, this is a collaborative uh, effort that's uh, kind of in the dance trance kind of category, I guess you would say. Uh, they produce multiple albums, uh, EP singles. I found their stuff on Bandcamp for Name Your Own Prices. Don't be cheap if you get it. Uh, it's good music. I listened to Say I'm Good. It's a dance trance kind of a tune that reminded me a bit of the old uh, Girl Eats Boy from the late 1990s with a bit of uh, Susie and the Banshees thrown in on top of that. It's very well produced, strong rhythm section, a really good song. For this, I was looking for a bit of a uh, kind of a headstrong kind of phase to get you right into that trance state with them. For this, I selected based on the cannabinoid terpene profiles available to me as I always do. Natural State Medicinal's Confucius Kush. Now, Confucius Kush is a pretty potent strain at 18.1% total THC. A little bit of trace CBD as we expect to find in most of these flowers. Terpenes show a pretty potent 1.4% total terpene content. It is myrcene dominant at 0.38%. Limoline is up next at 0.29% with beta caryophyllin and terpidoline rounding out uh, the levels right at about the same area. 0.24 and 0.21%. There is just a little showing of pining and humiling enough to make it actually count to have an effect. Now, Confucius Kush, the should give you a real quick cerebral high as the myrcene speeds the effects of the THC. The limonene, now that's going to relieve any anxiety you have, give you a nice kind of a little mood lift also. The caryophyllin and the terpinaline combined with the linalool and the uh, myrcene to give you a real chill, kind of relaxed trance base to it. The pinene and hemaline, there's just enough in there to count. It might give you a little bit of focus and chase a bit of the munchies away. Now, Confucius Kush, this should be just the strain to enjoy with Kerfurt and Dow's hypnotic cut and make you feel that uh, you are good, whether anybody tells you you are or not. For more information on all things medical cannabis, check out our website at canvasexpertmd.com. We're also available on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, under Cannabis Expert MD. Now I present to you Kerfoot and Dow with Say I'm Good.
Miss Teddy here with your Food is Medicine Minute. We are talking about exercise and besides CBD being one of your best dietary supplements for a uh, pre and post workout, I am going to give you a list of foods for bulking up when you're working out and for slimming down if you're working out. So for bulking up, you want to incorporate eggs, salmon, chickpeas, chicken breast, Greek yogurt, tuna, lean beef, shrimp, soybeans, cottage cheese, turkey breast, tilapia, protein powders, scallops, peanuts, milk, almonds, and brown rice. Now for slimming down, the list is a lot slimmer than the bulking up, but for slimming down when you're working out, you want to incorporate avocados, water, full fat Greek yogurt, eggs, frozen berries, nuts, lean beef, and whole grains. For more information on food as medicine, please feel free to contact me at Learn From Teddy. Thank you. Well, what a great show it's been. Your first Wendy Love Ed show. Well, actually not your first, but your first as co-host. There you go. Yeah. And, well, I like just hanging out here. This is always fun talking to you. So, I mean, I guess that was a whole episode. It just seems so fun. <laughs> like, we get to talk about weed, food, health, all these yes. fun things. Uh, it's just, it's, it's going to be a blast this season. I'm really excited. Yes, for sure. Um, so, Miss Teddy was just talking a little bit about food and though the act the episode was about exercise. Even Tom McMahon has talked a little bit about food because they're kind of related. They're all, you know, remedies yes. for health and they go hand in hand. So what are your thoughts about that? Well, think about this. A sumo wrestler works out every day, hours and hours and hours a day. And what do they look like? So it does have something to do with your diet. It does have something to do with our individual diets. Like Wendy and I's diet, are, that doesn't mean it's, we have to eat the same thing. I mean, right. uh, all our bodies are different. And I think they respond differently. You were saying earlier in the show how uh, it really, you can look good and feel like you're working out and stuff, but how do you feel? Everybody's got a different body. And, you know, I think um, for me, you know, this whole season is about remedies for health and how can we look at various things in regard to our wellness and health and, and, uh, and work on that, whether it's exercise or food or, you know, even we even have a show coming up talking about how um you know the prison system in america how the fear and all that uh, how that does that affect our wellness you know so um it's really fun to start off kind of talking about something sort of concrete right move your body <laughs> yeah uh, just get up and move like we said we, you guys even have homework 10 push-ups yes. you don't even have to do them all in a row like just do them before you watch the next episode you know like one a day or you know a half a day Yes. whatever you want to do but get out there and move i think that's um very very good advice it's the beginning of the year it may be the after the first of the year but we can still uh we can still make resolutions you don't have to do that on on january 1st you know you can start anytime and uh yeah so just keep the body moving and uh stay with us we'll check in with you and see how you did with those 10 push-ups i'm going to do mine for sure yes and you and hey if you need to do lady push-ups you're doing them remember yes. that variations of all this stuff as long as you're out there moving and exercising and stuff yes wonderful well till next week have a great week everyone bye the wendy lovett show is sponsored in part by caris healthcare the relevant app purely natural cbd Lindsay camp and synergy one lending lit premium smoking supplies 131 inclusion gallery 